Hey, how y'all doing out there? This is Easy Work Boxing. About to hit you everywhere, but under your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for taking time out y'all life to watch your boy. You know, I, I know y'all see I call this my post side chick. <laughs> this is one of my favorite jacks. I, y'all remember this from last year, but I kept it. You know what I'm saying? It's my post side chick. You know, but I got to talk about, you know, uh, some serious right now. And I got to talk about the Deontay Wilder situation with Tyson Fury. You know, I'm not going to go into, you know, you know, Mark Breeland, water, costumes. I'm not going to go into any other that, any other that, any, any of that stuff, because that stuff blindfolds what needs to be talked about. I have said and seen that people, fans are more focused on talking about what they would consider or would say excuses more than what happened and what actually happened which your eyes can't deny, not even your eyes, no matter uh, how you want to push it or how you want to believe it or how you get on people's pages and say what you say, your eyes showed you that Tyson Fury clearly cheated. So what we're going to do, we're going to push the excuses aside and we're just going to stay on the fact that this man cheated and he clearly cheated. Now, for people who have problems with that, we're going to switch it to another point of view and I'm going to do this for me. If Deontay Wilder would have done what Tyson Fury did, I would still have the I would still have the same opinion. I wouldn't care if he was white, black, yellow, green. If Deontay Wilder would have did what he did, if he would have cheated Tyson Fury, I would have made a video that Tyson that Deontay Wilder needs to be in prison and that he needs to go to jail. It wouldn't have mattered to me if he was black. Because why? Because I'm not racist. I'm not rich. And I can't put anybody white in a position of being homeless, bad education, bad food, um, living in poverty. So I can never be racist. But if Deontay Wilder would have did the same thing to Tyson Fury, guess what? You would have seen the video, Deontay Wilder cheating gloves. Deontay Wilder needs to be in prison. So let's get off the fact of excuses. Let's put all the color behind it. Let's leave all that out of it. At the end of the day, we got two men, two human, two human beings. One of them cheated. That's all we should be talking about. That's all we should be talking about. All I can hope is this. <clears throat> I hope that Deontay Wilder gets his opportunity in the ring for his third fight. I hope that he gets a chance to redeem himself, that he goes out there and he gets his title back. Because as you can look at it, they don't care about him getting his title back. People don't really understand how much how much trouble and how much things that this could bring out from this fight now. Because, look, see, we have big channels that don't even talk about it. Fight Hype, ESPN, I'm talking about real channels, basically, real sports channel. Who won't even bring this up? So people must understand why they won't bring this up. Because once they bring this up, it's going to open up so much stuff that they don't want people to know about the sport of boxing. So instead of people bashing Deontay Wilder, trust me, this is career damaging information for this man. For him to push the issue and literally come out to the public now and tell the public whatever you want to say, if you feel it's a lie, if you feel like he's making excuses, for him to come out and even push this agenda right now is dangerous for his career. He could be possibly even blackballed if so. Just by him even speaking out on it. So for people to sit up and act like this man is just lying and making an excuse on why he he didn't win that fight. You know, that's ridiculous. Because you see, they don't care. They don't even want to talk about it because it's going to open up so many doors. And to the people, <clears throat> to the people who keep criticizing and saying this, uh, the commission... Uh, been in several fights before. Okay, go back and look at Panama Lewis situation. Uh, t um, Antonio Margarito. The commissions were back there. And things still happen in the ring. So how can you still use that? I'm only hoping in this video, man, that people push. Stop, stop with the racist agendas and the narratives. And just look at it as the form of a human being, man. It was a human being that got wrong. At the end of the day, no matter what color he was or anything, 
He was wrong. He got his title took in the wrong way. People clearly saw it. You know, so, so for people to be going out here and saying, you know, he lying and he making no this, this career damaging. This career damage because once it gets started, if he was he even go to court, with look, <clears throat> this fight is not gonna happen. I don't think the fight ain't gonna happen because Tyson Fury know he gonna lose. Deontay Wilder is gonna defeat Tyson Fury, and he can't cheat because the eyes gonna be on him so bad. They probably might check gloves even when he coming out to the ring. Now he will have no way of cheating. The fight isn't, that's one reason the fight is not going to happen. It's, it's, it's just, it's just horrible what, what's going on. That's why I don't really like talking about, I didn't want to talk about this situation because it's going to more than boxing. Instead of people just looking at it as if it's just two human beings, people bringing color into it, people choosing sides. It ain't no side to choose. It's only one side, right and wrong. Tyson Fury was wrong, point blank, period. And he need to pay for it. You know, you're going to see people get on here and talk about, oh, now Mark Breland and now this and now that and now that. At the end of the day, the man cheated. The man need to pay for what he did. I ain't jumping on no sides. I ain't taking no sides. All I'm saying is, in all fairness, Deontay Wilder deserves his third fight. On the contract and everything. He deserves his third fight. They should give him his third fight. And that's, that's all I have to say on it. I'm not on no sides. You know what I'm saying? I'm for the person that's right. And Deontay Wilder was wronged. And something needs to happen. And it's sad that the big channels out there, ESPN, Fight Height, think people like that, they are not involving themselves in this. Because once once it's on the table, so much stuff is going to come out about the sport of boxing that they don't want you to dare know about. So the best thing for them to do, ignore it. But see, the, another reason that the fight ain't going to happen is because once Deontay Wilder wins and get his title back, he's going to be able to say everything he wants, even about the WBC. See, I noticed in an interview today that he did, he didn't mention when the question was asked, "What's going on with you in the uh, WBC?" He didn't. He didn't. He didn't talk about that. Not because he's scared to talk about it, because he knows if he says anything negative or towards the WBC, that they most definitely won't let that fight happen. But I guarantee you, if that fight happens and Deontay Wilder defeats Tyson Fury after that 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 fight over with in the ring, Deontay Wilder gonna raise hell. I'm telling y'all. To hear that man talking, he going to raise hell. I'm telling y'all. That's another reason they're going to find every situation not to fight Deontay Wilder. Because once he get that title back, he going to raise hell. I'm telling y'all. And that's just my take on it. Respect to you, Deontay Wilder. And it's, it's a comment I got to say. I, got, I, I couldn't be a man if I couldn't say it. It was a comment that him in the interviewer was saying. And they were saying like, you know what I'm saying? To the people, to the guys that was out there saying, you know, they want to hear from me. You know, they was they was they was screaming like girls or they were screaming like women. I took offense to that. And the reason I took offense to that because I'm one of those people who made videos, you know, back and what happened to you. I'm one of them people who was getting criticized and called out my name and having monkey symbols on my page because I decided to do what was right and back up a champion, whether he was black or white. So when I got on my videos and I decided to say I wanted to hear from you, I wanted to hear from the person that I was backing. I think it was disrespectful for you and that guy in that interview 78 to sit up and say that people were calling for you like acting like females. Some of us was out here actually trying to uh, tell the public actually what happened to you. So I, on that end, I, I felt disrespected on that end. But that's not even here nor there. You know, I ain't gonna, I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna get nothing from it, but. As a man, I, I just had to speak on that. It was some people who were actually just in your corner and wanted to hear you come out and tell the public actually what happened. It wasn't that people were just, you know, uh, acting like females. But, you know, sometimes, you know, it's best to just shut up and not just try to get involved in anything. And that's a lesson I've learned now. 
But I just want to thank y'all for tuning in. It's Easy Work Boxer, man. Shout out to Deontay Wilder. You know, I hope you get that fight, man. I hope you'll be able to get your crown back. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Most of all, y'all be safe out here. This Easy Work Boxing. Thank y'all for y'all time. I'm out.